Xavi Hernandez and Andrea Pirlo are widely considered among the greatest midfielders of all time. In the 2000s and 2010s, they were two of the finest exponents of the midfield playmaker role, becoming legends with their respective national and club teams. Xabi was awarded the IFFHS World's Best Playmaker Award four times, and in 2020 was named in the Ballon d'Or Dream Team, the greatest all-time 11 published by France Football Magazine. Moreover, in 2010 and 2011 he finished third for the Ballon d'Or. Andrea Pirlo finished in the top four five times in the IFFHS World's Best Playmaker Award, between 2006 and 2015. He was named Serie A Footballer of the Year three times, and voted to the Serie A Team of the Year four times. Also, he finished in the top ten three times for the Ballon d'Or. Xabi was a diminutive, composed, agile and technically skilled player with a slender physique and a low center of gravity. Although he was not known for his tackling ability or for being prolific in front of goal, Xavi's outstanding vision, metronomic pinpoint accurate passing, excellent off-the-ball movement, superb reading of the game, positional sense and world-class ball control, allowed him to create chances for teammates and dictate the flow of play in midfield, while rarely relinquishing possession. Considered one of the best deep-lying playmakers ever, Pirlo was renowned for his vision, ball control, technique, creativity, passing and free kick ability. Although not gifted with pace, stamina, physicality or notable defensive skills, Pirlo was known for his composure in possession, and drew praise for his touch, technique, balance, elegance, close control and dribbling ability, as well as his flair and creativity in beating players with feints, in order to retain the ball and create space for himself to play and receive passes. Xabi starts the game at age 19. His best attribute is passing, in which he has 19. He has 18 in first touch, technique, and vision, 17 in teamwork, and 16 in many significant attributes, including decisions, composure, and work rate. Xabi's personality is model citizen, the media description is wonder kid. His natural position is central midfielder, while he's competent as defensive midfielder, and central attacking midfielder. The preferred foot is the right, the left foot is fairly strong. Xabi's player traits are gets forward whenever possible, plays short simple passes, tries killer balls often, comes deep to get ball, and dictates tempo. Andrea Pirlo also starts the game at age 19. His best attribute is technique, in which he has 19. He has 18 in free kick taking, passing, flair, and vision, and 17 in first touch penalty taking and composure. Pirlo's personality is light-hearted, the media description is wonder kid. Considering their age and potential, both Xabi and Pirlo can improve considerably. Pirlo's natural positions are central midfielder and defensive midfielder, while he's competent as central attacking midfielder. The preferred foot is the right, the left foot is fairly strong. His player traits are tries killer balls often, curls ball, comes deep to get ball, dictates tempo, tries long-range free kicks, and tries long-range passes. At the end of the second season Xabi and Pirlo have already reached their full potential. They are now two wonderful playmakers with outstanding technical and mental attributes. The average of the technical attributes is 14 for Pirlo and 13 for Xabi. First, touch, passing and technique are all excellent, between 18 and 20. Pirlo is noticeably better at both free kick taking and long shots, where he has 18 and 17 respectively while Xabi has 16 and 14 respectively. Moreover, Pirlo is clearly better at penalty taking, having 17 where Xabi has 13. With regard to mental attributes, they are both great in composure, decisions and vision. Pirlo mainly prevails in flair, with 18 compared to Xabi's 15, while the Spaniard has a clear edge in anticipation, determination, off the ball, teamwork and work rate. This attributes contribute in determining his average of 15, better than Pirlo's 14. In particular, while Pirlo when getting forward can rely on his excellent long-range shot, Xabi is more adept at moving forward without the ball, having 16 in off the ball. This is also considered one of the main differences in their playing style. Xabi and Pirlo manage to reach an average of 13 in the physical attributes. 
They both have a very good 17 in agility, and are also basically on a par in acceleration, balance, pace and stamina, all between 14 and 16. Lastly, both have the right foot as their preferred, but Perlo has a slight edge when it comes to the ability with the left foot. In the role of deep-lying playmaker, with support duty, Sharby has a roll rating of 98.9%, higher than Pirlo's 94.9%, with Sharby's that slightly prevails in some primary attributes such as first touch, passing, decisions and teamwork. The weighted average in this role narrows the gap between Sharby and Pirlo though, with a more balanced score of 14.81, versus 14.63. According to the FM Scout, Sharby is better even in the advanced playmaker role, with support duty, where he has a role rating of 98.2%, compared to Pirlo's 94.9%. Again, the weighted average reflects this advantage but narrows it, with Sharby that comes out on top with a score of 14.84, compared to Pirlo's 14.69. In conclusion, both Sharby and Pirlo have excellent playmaker's primary attributes such as first touch, passing, technique, composure, and vision. The more balanced scores resulting from the weighted average suggest that the two playmakers are actually very close in terms of overall ability, with only a few characteristics that distinguish them from each other. Where Sharby has impressive consistency, great decision-making, and the ability to make forward runs off the ball, Pirlo is better at free kick and penalty taking, as well as in long shots and in the natural talent for the creative and the unpredictable. Therefore, Sharby wins this challenge in both role ratings and weighted averages, but Pirlo can perhaps be more decisive in certain key moments of the game. Don't forget to let me know in the comments section which of these two legendary midfielders is your favorite, and what are the reasons for your choice. Thank you for watching. Consider leaving a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for more content like this one.